designated monthly test of the broadcast stations of your area. If this had been an actual emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This station serves the New York City area. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the Iowa Emergency Alert System. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This concludes this test of the Iowa EAS.
This is WSPC Albemarle. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. PC Albemarle. This has been a test of the emergency alert system. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave K two three six C K warranted K W R E warranted Troy Winsville. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert. This is a weekly <laughs> test of the emergency, of the emergency alert, system. alert system. This concludes, this concludes this test, test of the emergency, of the emergency alert, system. alert system. Test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the only in Valley emergency alert system. A in the event of an emergency, has issued required this would bring you to the following counties or areas. Emergency alert system. Entered Barnard, California. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. 2023, effective until 5:50 a.m. This is a required monthly test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. If this was a real alert, you should tune to one of these television or radio stations to receive instructions from authorities about what is happening and what you need to do. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly this test, of, a the weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this, this test concludes this of the test emergency alert of the emergency system. alert system. The talk of Pittsburgh, 1320 WJAS, is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. What are you going to get to? Uh, let's, uh, let's get a pause on that and get to some forecasts. We've got our friend Paul Tratton from the Weather and Weather Center joining us right now. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Paul. How's it going over there? It's been a test of the emergency alert system at the talk of Pittsburgh, 1320 WJAS. This will hold you. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system.
This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Mornings with Tom Stryker. Today's Variety I-94. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Authorities have issued a required weekly test for Todd MN, beginning at 9.48 a.m. and ending at 10.03 a.m. This is a test. This is the top county required weekly test. en San Juan interrumpe la programación regular de esta emisora para realizar la prueba semanal del servicio de alerta de emergencias para Puerto Rico e Islas Indígenas Americanas. Durante situaciones de emergencia, esta alarma será activada. La prueba se realiza los miércoles entre las 11 y 12 del mediodía si las condiciones del tiempo lo permiten. De no ser así, se llevará a cabo el próximo día con buen tiempo. The National Weather Service of San Juan has interrupted the normal broadcast to conduct a weekly test for the emergency alert system for Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. During emergency situations, this alarm will be activated. This test is conducted every Wednesday between 11 and noon. If weather conditions are unfavorable, the test will be done the next good weather day. Now we return to our regular program. Ahora regresamos a nuestra programación regular. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of New Jersey beginning at 10.29 a.m. and ending at 12.29 p.m. 
The New Jersey Office of Emergency Management is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. But this been an actual emergency, the attention signal you have just heard would have been followed by official information or instructions. This concludes the test of the emergency alert system. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
power. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and noon Eastern Time each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Perception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm zone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties in Indiana, Boone, Decatur, Delaware, Hamilton, Hancock, Hendricks, Henry, Johnson, Madison, Marion, Morgan, Rush, Shelby, and Tipton. This concludes the weekly test of weather radio station KEC 74.
Thursday, mostly sunny. Highs 50 to 55. Southeast winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. Slot chance of light rain. Wind up. Lows in the mid 30s. Chance of rain 40 percent. Friday, sunny with a slight chance of light rain. A slight chance of light snow in the afternoon.
five nautical miles of full half length of the year. For the following, we can accomplish the Wilmot Highlands in the north. I will be 15 miles an hour. 
Before we get to that, though, this is a test from the emergency alert system. It's only a test. That was the test from the emergency alert system. Had there been a warning, we'd let you know about it on K2.
Denver. Fair. No 62 degrees. And now the Once again, no temperature was no 6 degrees. degrees. Wind calm. Lows 10 to 20. Here is the latest weather center. Saturday night. Most cloud 247 and mountain standard time. Wednesday, December 6th. 2023 quiet weather with above no temperatures. Expected to persist. Thursday with the exception of a few breezes across eastern New Mexico. A storm system will bring strong winds and colder temperatures Thursday into Saturday. Precipitation will favor lows in New Mexico Friday through early Saturday. Morning, Marley colder temperatures will prevail on Saturday with most low calories. Highs 10 to 20 degrees colder than Friday. Temperatures will rebound amongst drinking. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday,
Grand, San Juan, Duchesne, and Emory Counties, in northwestern New Mexico, Rio Arriba, and San Juan Counties. Once again, the National Weather Service has just conducted a test of the public warning alarm system. We now return to our normal broadcast cycle. Thank you. 
The following is a test of the emergency alert system. The following is a test of the emergency alert system.
If this had been an actual emergency, you would receive official information, news, or instructions from the station. This concludes the weekly test of the Southern Nevada Emergency Alert System. have issued a required weekly test for kids and MN, beginning at 5.57 p.m. and ending at 6.57 p.m. This is a required weekly test. This is only a kids and county test.
The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA weather radio public warning system. Specially built receivers are activated by the signal to warn of severe weather or other hazards. Tests are normally conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon, and again between 6 and 8 p.m. If severe weather is expected on Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the next day, weather permitting. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning signals, can vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can result even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. Warning alarm tones are activated on transmitters for counties where the signal is reliably received, in sufficient strength for consistent and dependable service. For station KIH 26 in Daytona Beach, warning alerts will be activated for Volusia, Flagler, Putnam, Lake, Seminole, Brevard, and Orange Counties. For station KIH 63 in Orlando, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Lake, Orange, Osceola, Polk, Seminole, and Volusia counties. For station WXJ70 in Melbourne, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Indian River, Orange, and Osceola counties. For station WWF69 in Fort Pierce, warning alerts will be activated for Indian River, Martin, Okeechobee, and St. Lucie counties. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Public Warning System. We now return to the regular broadcast program. Saturday, Southwest Wind... This has been a test of the NOAA All Hazards Weather Radio Alarm System. NOAA National Weather Service normally conducts this test every Wednesday between 11.30 a.m. and noon. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed until the next fair weather day. You will be informed between 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. each test day if the test will or will not be conducted. This test is conducted to give you the opportunity to ensure that your radio alarm system is in good working order. This has been a test. of your National Weather Service. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning and alarm for transmitters in the Florida listening area, originating from Ruskin, Florida. This was also a test of the same system or specific area message encoder. The same system will alert only the county or counties affected by a particular warning. These tests are conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon, and again between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., unless severe weather threatens. This concludes the weekly test. We now return to regular programming. This is Franklin County Emergency Management conducting a required monthly test of the emergency alert system. If this were an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test. The ultraviolet index forecast for December 7th is 3, or moderate. This is the National Weather Service Office in Fort Worth. 
The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K East C55. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bosque, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Uraf, Hill, Hood, Johnson, Parker, Somerville, Tarrant, and Wise. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C-55. The ultraviolet index forecast for December 7th is 3, or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K-East C-56. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Hill, Hood, Hunt, Kaufman, Parker, Rockwall, and Tarrant. This concludes the test of weather radio station K-East C-56. The ultraviolet index forecast for December 7th is 3, or moderate. This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K-West North 34. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Anderson, Cherokee. Freestone, Henderson, Houston, and Leon, and Navarro. This concludes the test of weather radio station K West North 34. The ultraviolet index forecast for December 7th is 3, or moderate.
This is the National Weather Service office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station West XK35. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bell, Bosque, Coriel, Falls, Hill, Limestone, McLennan, Milam, and Robertson. This concludes the test of weather radio station West XK35. WXL 57 at Des Moines, WXL 94 at Bremer County, WXK 84 at Fort Dodge, KXI 98 at Marshalltown, KXI 62 at Montezuma, WXN 91 at Rathbun Lake, WNG 730 at Atumwa, KZZ 51 at Carroll, KZZ 68 at Van Wert, KXI 65 at Lenox, WNG 666 at Iowa Falls, WNG 668 at Denison, WNG 688 at Ringsted, KJY 63 at Forest City. For a detailed listing of what counties are served by each transmitter, please visit the NOAA Weather Radio section of our website at www.weather.gov slash Des Moines. Once again, please visit the NOAA Weather Radio section at our website, www.weather.gov slash Des Moines.
This concludes our test. We now return to regular programming. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is the coordinated monthly test of the emergency alert system. The equipment that can warn you of a life-threatening emergency is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency or a life-threatening condition, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Operational Area Emergency Alert System.
required on patients for all of Minnesota beginning at 10.40 p.m. and ending at 11.40 p.m. This is a co-admitted test to the emergency alert system in cooperation with the local broadcasters. This is only a test. This test is from the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Protection. No action is needed. This is only a test. This is a test of the Fargo operational area of the North Dakota Emergency Alert System. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test is now concluded.